Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to change your background theme or color on your Xbox Series X or S, and this will also work on the Xbox One. So what you want to do is on your Xbox controller, click the Xbox button, and that's going to open up this settings sidebar. What we want to do is scroll over until we get to our profile. And once you're all the way scrolled over to the end when you're in your profile and system, what we want to do at this point is go down and click on where it says settings. And then once we're in the settings area, it's going to be under the general tab. We're going to go over and click personalization. And then in general personalization, we're going to go down and click where it says my color and background. And then your first two options here over on the left hand side are going to be your color and then the transparency of tiles. You can set that in this area. And then next to that, we have the my background area, which is pretty self explanatory. It's the image or the background that's going to be set on the home page, for instance, of your Xbox. And you have a solid color and game art that you can do in this first area. You can have achievement art. You can do a custom image. And they recommend the size of 1920 by 1080. And you can actually put custom images on. On something like a USB flash drive you can plug that right into your Xbox and you're gonna be able to pick those images off of that USB drive and then you can use those as your background you can also use a screenshot perhaps you captured something in game that you'd like to use or you can also pick from different dynamic backgrounds so for this example I'm gonna check out the different dynamic background options that are available and so we have the standard waves we have waves faded ultraviolet midnight and I'm going to go ahead and choose this last option. It's called Ripple, so clicking A on that. And then going back to my home screen, clicking the Xbox button again on my controller, and then clicking A on the home option. And we can now see that my background theme has been changed over to Ripple. And there's a lot of different options that you have there for your background, whether you want to do a solid color and game art. You can do, again, achievement art, custom images, screenshot, or dynamic background. You have a bunch of different things that you can choose from. So I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing, and I'll catch you back here next time.